Fake a ton, friends. I just showed all the stuff that I fit in Legend of the Sea Robbers and Legend of the Conquerors boxes. This is the extension to Explorers and Pirates, and it came in a big box like that, too. I'm putting in my player piece organizers. Um, these are the ones that Samit made me. Stuff is the best. It's the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. Alright, as I struggle with this, this is a clear organizer. It's meat made me, and then Saga 13 Workshop made the little shiny rainbow player pieces. I was gonna get it off of Smeet, but he's really busy and not doing so much with like custom rainbow multicolor setups. Isn't this amazing? You've seen other places where I have these organizers, every little bit fits in perfectly, nothing's gonna shake out randomly. Um, of course, I shake things like crazy no matter what, because my fingers don't really work that well. But bam, I can flip it upside down, flip it in reverse, it. it's just fine. Alright, these fit perfectly into one of these small boxes right up to the lip, perfectly engineered. Um, there are some thinner ones and some thicker ones. The um, basic player pieces are in a slightly wider container than the Explorers and Pirates ones. No big deal. It fits beautifully. And you can do it like this, or what I'm going to show, you can do it like this. These fit nicely. Alright, so those are the official piece organizers. Let me show you some of my stuff, the unofficial homemade Catan fan thing. These are all the number chips for whenever I do a random Catan board. We can pick and draw randomly, which is great. I think it's really useful that way. This is for my harbor tokens. I'm making a little um, keychain tag for many of these things. So beach, beach class, crop trust, expedition to the Arctic, which is my own thing um, to combine a whole bunch of stuff. That's some of my trained dragons, trained dragon piece marker, all sorts of good things. Um, so those are in need of sealing and a little more color. They'll come out soon. All my loose Hawaii pieces go right here in this little tiny pretty bag. Some of these I'm repurposing. Um, if I got a velvet bag with an item, I guess, like an Amazon thing or whatever, I try to give everything a second life at least, if not third or fourth, before I let it go. Fishy, fishy. These are the rectangular fish tokens, both from Traders and Barbarians and from the previous Fisherman of Catan standalone thing before they combined it. These are some of my medical disaster response, like the FEMA response and interdepartmental response. I've got little ambulance trucks. I've got cordon sanitaire, yellow and black dividers. I've got NIH metropolis-ish looking tokens. The CDC, I kept yellow and black, and the NIH did white with a red cross. Doesn't really matter. They're all buddies. Frenemies! If you play Frenemies at Catan, which is epic, please get it. Frenemies and helpers can add spice to the most basic Catan without necessarily having spice tokens and hexes. Frenemies is great. You reach in and you get one of these five colors token, and each one counts for different things. It's wild. You get advantages for being somewhat more collaborative. A little break from the total um, uh, extreme... We call it cutthroat nature of some Catan bits. This is for my beach um, hex and add on. I have some shells onto which I painted and sealed one healing point. I also have two to one advantage tokens made of beach glass. But let me just show you the beach glass. I'm going to dump it like out on my belly here. Almost everything I do, I do from bed because my body has a lot of problems. But this helps my mind stay sane. I've got gorgeous beach glass which I've also heard called Mermaid's Tears, which I think is so cute. Um, I have a couple that show the two to one advantage for trade, kind of like getting a harbor. You can have a beach class harbor, you know, by setting up shop at the beach. Uh, coming soon. I'm going to put some final pieces together before I roll this out completely. I'm excited. We have land, we have water, but do we really talk about marshy, swampy areas? Mm. Only in Conquerors and stuff like that. Excuse me, do we really talk about beaches? No. I use the same sort of ratio, a slight tweak, as the one, two, and three fish general tokens. Um, so I have enough here for like eight or ten players. You won't get this much if you get a beach kit. But to help me keep organized, I use big and small pieces with one, two, and three kind of 
evenly spread out. So you, when you reach into the bag, when you feel a piece, it's not like, oh, it's big. It must be a three or a one. It's random. I did a good job of distributing that well. Um, you take your beach glass. It's another commodity, kind of like oil, gold, uh, bog iron, fish, anything like that. Amethyst, oil barrel, all sorts of things like that. It's just another commodity, but you get advantages to using this special commodity because it is so magical and mystical, especially if you set up a tourist attraction at your beach, which is kind of like uh, setting up properties. So you can go Settlement City Metropolis if you're using regular Catan stuff instead of a normal metropolis um, like city since you don't really want to build on sand that high. I'm turning it into a tourist attraction and when you have that you increase to a two to one advantage I'm trying to do this while looking through the camera instead of a three to one. Three to one is my standard for beach class. Um, okay, stay tuned for more.